Welcome back, this is Sweets from Decent, and today we're going to be doing a Decent Audio Player speed run. Get started by finding your base repository of choice. I've got a Rainbow Tail Kit template that I like to use, and so I'll link this template if you want to use it. You can just use the template, create a new repo, uh, audio player speed run. It'll be a public repo. Go ahead and create it. Creates the repo. This will work in any repo. It doesn't have to be a Web3 project, but I usually like spinning up Web3 projects. Okay, copy your new repository's URL and then clone it locally. Okay, we're an audio player speed run. I believe to set this project up, I just need to run yarn. While I'm waiting for that to install, I'm gonna open up the decent uh, UX components or the audio player. Then I'm gonna copy that install command. I'm gonna really briefly make sure that the initial project is set up properly and then we'll add in the audio player. All right, let's verify that the project is set up. And so we should, when this loads, be looking at an application that is loaded with Rainbow Kit, Tailwind, but is still missing the decent audio player. And we can load and see Rainbow Kit's working, um, and all of our Tailwind is working, but we do not have an audio player. So now I'm just going to update the Solana button to have a play button. So to do that, um, now I paste my install command, I'm using yarn instead of npm, so I just need to run yarn add decent audio player, this is going to add the decent audio player into your package or into your project. From there um, I'm going to want to open up my code base, but I should just be able to follow along with the getting started guide, both of which are going to involve wrapping our provider around the base of our application. Let's open up our code base. We're at just about three minutes so far. We'll see how long it'll take. I think it's this guy. There we go. Audio player speed run. Um, we've got our audio player installed now, so now we can do our imports and this will be inside of our app. We'll paste all of our imports. Let's close down some of these things that are blocked from our view. So this is just, an, if you're building a next app, this is gonna be inside of the app.tsx. Run your imports. Once the imports are made, then we can import our providers and our dispatchers. For the audio player to be able to be shared across the entire application. Wrap it. And it looks like we're missing one more thing, declaring our state and our dispatch. Declare our state and our dispatch. We should now be good on our app configuration. And so then the next step is just putting in an audio player. And so I'm gonna go into my here an index? Oh, it's just here an index. Okay, so we'll modify the Solana one. 
I'm gonna just throw in an audio player. from the decent NPM. And we should now have an audio player on the screen that will work for us. Let's see if that's true. Oh, my server is not running. That'll do. We just passed five minutes. Goal is, it should be done by now, so we should be just under six minutes to get the audio player up and running into a fresh app. Uh, if this is right, I should have a play button on the screen that I can click and hear music and also click pause. Page is loading. Looks like I've got my decent play button on the screen. Close my music. We've got a decent audio player. And so from here, if we wanted to customize the the source file or any of the functionality after the playback or whether it's active we can also customize the size and then there's a whole other player bar that you can leverage if you want but this was a speed run um, audio player works the npm package is live i'm going to try to link all the code bases in the video description thank you for tuning in this is sweets signing off